welcome back to my channel this is your girl Shane Janae coming to you with another video thank you guys so 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 much for watching all of my previous videos and hi to my beautiful new subscribers first I'm going to give you some time be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and also that notification bell so that you don't miss when I post a new upload today's video I'm going to show you guys what's inside of my makeup bag so I thought this would be really awesome I do like to change my makeup products a lot um you know there's some stuff that just doesn't work for my skin some things I don't like but I tend to like hop on trends I tend to hop on I tend to hop on trends when new things come out therefore I have a lot of makeup so not as much as a makeup artist of course because I'm not a makeup artist but um, I have a lot of makeup so I'm going to show you guys what's in my makeup bag and before I show you do not do not judge me okay so dun, 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 dun. here is my makeup bag y'all <laughs> And she is she is so big, but what's really good about her is that she has sections. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna just start off. So I got this bag. Actually, my grandmother gave it to me. She found it at like this thrift store. So she found it at the thrift store, and I cleaned it up really really good. And y'all, this thing is so helpful. Now I don't take this when I travel unless it's like somewhere close, like an hour away, then I might take it. But if it's like somewhere far, I don't take it. I'll use like my smaller bag, um, which I can show you later. Um, but this is my at home bag of makeup. Um, and it is, it does come in sections. So as you can see, she is stuffed to capacity. But I was looking up things to do videos on because honestly, you know, it's kind of hard to think of something think of things to um new material a lot so if you guys have any ideas or things you would like to see on my channel um just comment below and let me know i don't mind if it's wigs clothes you want to talk have a discussion about different things that's fine too um i'm really really open to different topics so this is my bag and when you open up open it when you open the bag up it has and don't judge me y'all yes my bag is dirty it's a makeup bag who what girl's makeup bag is is clean like how do you keep a makeup bag clean anyways so because i can hear y'all i can see you judging me through the screen so stop judging me okay it comes in different sections so up here i keep my beauty sponges um my eyebrow pomade um which is by janae more cosmetics as well in the color ebony that's what i'm i'm wearing right now um i keep my mascara my eyebrow on my eyeliner pencils and so i keep all of that in the first half in the second half i just have some lip glosses my um, pencil shavers to sharp oh, shavers pencil sharpeners to sharpen my eyebrow and eyeliner pencils um and my setting spray so you guys have seen me use this setting spray a lot um but this is my morphe setting spray and my hangover three in one setting spray since we're talking about setting spray girl i did not set my face <laughs> the ghetto okay and so there is another section in the middle and let me just put mine and y'all honestly this bag isn't enough i'm gonna have to get something bigger <laughs> but the next section um as you can see is for makeup brushes and those are just my janae more cosmetic makeup brushes that is all i use i literally use the janae more cosmetics makeup brushes and beauty sponges to apply my makeup that is all i use for application so if you guys would like to purchase those the link will be below in the description box um and also i just launched a new um deal so basically with my company if you want to get everything that's on the line you can get it all for a cheaper price than you buying it separately so be sure to go check that out let's go what else is in my makeup bag so i have a section i can't hold the entire makeup bag up because i would drop it <laughs> but um so in one section i have my concealer some of the concealers i like to use i like to use the i i just use this to try it um this is the nars concealer 
um and i got it in caramel i actually really do like it but i have so many other ones that it's like why well, go buy some new ones right now so i have the tarte shape tape now if you want a bomb highlight this is this is it um i have the nyx hd studio photogenic concealer this is really good as well this is in the color cw06.7 um that's really good the p louise now this is a eyeshadow base for my eyeshadow of course um and this is in the shade rumor five but this is really good for our eyeshadow base if you want to like apply like really bright colors and you want it to show and pop this is this is the stuff and of course of course of course my la pro concealer you cannot i don't care if you're a beginner or you like the the influencer of the influencers you have to have this in your makeup bag like it's, it's just a staple like you don't feel right if you don't have it and last but not least the elf hydrating camo concealer so those are my concealers next i have my primers and my color correctors so for that the nyx concealer correct contour palette and this palette has been around for a really really long time so you've probably seen it around as you can see i only use the orange color right here and i just use it to um color correct under my eyes when i have dark circles or when i'm looking really tired i also use the black radiance true complexion hd corrector um this is really good as well i don't use this as much as i use the nyx palette but this is great too um, so to primers, the only two primers I use, well sorry, <laughs> I use a few primers, it just depends on the day. So right now I have on the e.l.f. Um, Poreless Face Primer, so I have this on it. And if you watched my last video, then you saw this primer. And I also wear, so right now I have on the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer and the Tasha Silk Canvas Primer. And these are the two I have on now, but I do use other primers. I also use the Illuminating Face Primer and sometimes the Becca Primer when I just want my face really matte. You don't really want a whole lot of transfer into my mask. Alright, so next we're going to go to foundations. I have a ton of foundations. I <laughs> So, it feels like I have a ton, but I guess compared to a lot of people, it's not a ton. But to me, it's a lot and I don't know when I'm going to use it all. However, <laughs> we're going to get started with these. So, my first... Um, my first foundation that I have is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid um, Foundation and this is in the shade NC50 and I'm sure you've seen this before. This has been around for a very long time. Um, the next one that I have is the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation. This is in the shade Cool Almond and I really really love this. I'm actually almost out of this so I, I really want to go and get me some more of that. The next one is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation. So I've only used this a few times and the top is really broken on this. I can't even get into it. I've been trying to I've been trying to get into this thing for like two weeks now. So I, I think I'm just about to suck up the fact that I gotta go buy another one and I'm gonna have to trash it because I really cannot open this thing. But that's the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop. And they also have the drops as well, but I haven't tried that one. So the next one that you've been seeing lately within the last few videos is the fit me dewy and smooth with um, foundation which is for normal to dry skin and this is in the shade 355 coconut and this is a staple for me too i love 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 this foundation i'm wearing it right now so the next foundation that i have is the nars soft matte complete foundation this is in the color Mikayo medium deep four um and i reviewed this on my channel so if you would really like to try this go back and watch my review before you purchase the next one is the ColourPop Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer um, and this is in the the name is pretty fresh I also did a review on this one as well so if you don't like to wear a ton of makeup and you would like something more natural that you can wear every day that's more easy to work with then this would be really great for you and next I'm going to the Huda Beauty the Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty. <laughs> Um, foundation and this is in the shade chocolate mousse 450g and i love 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 this foundation the only thing about it is that it's not in my shade it's not in my shade y'all it's i don't know it looked right in sephora but when i got home and put it on like i have to mix this so if i'm going to wear it i have to mix it but the coverage is amazing and it just looks beautiful so 
that's all of my foundations. Um, next, I'm going to go to, I guess I'll go to my highlighters. So my highlighters, I use, um, this is just some, like some off-brand highlighter fluid stuff. <laughs> but I wear this during the summertime when I want to look really glowy. I put it on um, before I put on my makeup just to make my foundation glow. And you know about this. The Wet n Wild Illuminating Highlighting Powder. Y'all, the highlight on this joker is crazy. It's so cute. If you're going to put this on, you got to be careful that you don't put too much on because... You're going to mess yourself up. Alright, so next I'm going to go to my powders. So powders, I have Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage um, Powder. And I also use the Fit Me um, Powder in Coconut as well. Just to set my face sometimes when I don't want to wear a lot of you know, powder. This is my Morphe Bronzer. But... Um, it's broken right now so I have to use it with care so I don't waste it and break it more than it's already broken <laughs> and last but not least my setting powder so if I'm going somewhere and I know I'm going to be there for a while then if I know I'm going somewhere for a while I will set my face so um, I will bake which is what everybody calls it so I will bake and I will use the Fenty Beauty um, mini instant retouch setting powder and this is in the shade honey but this is really good as well and so now we're going to go to blushes so for blushes i just use the milk makeup um lip and cheeks blush it's really small y'all sometimes i use it but this one has more of like a um it has it it's more you have to wipe it on so I don't use this one as much but sometimes you know I might pick in it and just play in it so this is the elf blush um and always rosy and this is absolutely beautiful I feel like it looks really really great on my skin so but I do want to try some new blushes if you guys have any recommendations leave it below in the comments and so y'all besides that everything else is pretty generic like my pencils like this is the eyeliner that i use and this is the nyx professional makeup that's the, that's the point eyeliner and i'm sure you've seen this before in like ulta and my mascara is on some regular the words ain't even on it no more but it's the maybelline <laughs> it's the maybelline mascara this stuff is really good too by the way um, that is all that's in my makeup bag, y'all. Um, those that's just the that's the gist of it. So as you can see, I wouldn't say that this is a starter collection because it's definitely not a starter collection, but um, you know, it's a it's a good collection to have. Like you got you got options. And you know, when you when you're doing makeup, you want to have options because some days you don't want to wear this concealer. Some days you want to be more highlighted. Some days you want to be more natural. So it's good to have options. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you beauties in my next video. Bye.